Jesus! Welcome to this episode of Rick Receive Shorts, aka We Shorts, Matt Zion along with Havoc. Uh, we were trying a brand new candy that I saw when I was at the Walmart grocery outlet. Really? So, have you ever been to those before? Uh -uh. There are some Walmarts out there that are only a grocery store. That's weird. They don't carry other stuff really for the most part. Only stuff related to food. I'm still uh, burning. We have one out by us. We just tried some really hot stuff. But this is Cold Stone Creamery Candy Cone Creations Caramel Crave. That sounds good. So Cold Stone, obviously great. Like just like the worst possible ice cream ever for you health wise, but delicious as hell. What do you think is worse for you health wise? Cold Stone? Or do you think um, Ben and Jerry's? I'd probably say uh, Cold Stone. Probably Cold Stone. Because Ben and Jerry's actually yeah. worries about what they put in their stuff. I would, I would agree with that. Yeah, I think that they're a little more uh, sensitive to, yeah, to it. Especially because it seems more like a hippie company too, yeah. a little bit. They're the ones that have come out with uh, weed ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're hippies. I don't know where you get <laughs> it, but I'm sure dispensaries, some dispensaries yeah. have it. But yeah, weed ice cream. This is a cool concept. They still stayed true to the ice cream theory. But this is just going to be a hard candy. They have some like hard candies up at the top. I don't know what the hell those are. That looks weird. Looks like it kind of looks like it's like growing eggs or something. Yeah, it doesn't look yeah. like it. Yours looks a little. God, oh, they yeah. packed yours. yours. Looks Mine looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Oh. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so rich though. Wow, that's really good. Oh. That is excellent. Taste-wise, though, this is incredible. It's they like did a very a good job. Less offensive Cadbury egg. Yeah. Because I hate Cadbury eggs. It's <coughs> I love Cadbury. This is really good. Mm -hmm. It's rich. It's not too bad. The crunch from these little M and M's or whatever the hell they are is really good. And the cone is like a real waffle cone. And that's what it's they said on it. Very good. Real sugar cone filled with caramel vanilla cream topped with chocolate. It's good. Yeah, that's delicious. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Uh, that's great. The only thing I hate about it is the wrapper. So when I bought these at Walmart, it was yours. That's why I gave you the one that was fucked up. Um, they were. It was covering up the barcode. Uh, she had to rip it open a little bit. So that's why I gave you that one because I, you know, you risk your health. I'm, I'm gonna live. <laughs> I give it a four out of five, probably just because I've had too much chocolate today. But it, for what it is, it's very good. And the the waffle cone is actually pretty impressive. Yeah. It just seems like it's hard, it would be harder to make than a generic chocolate. And it's so soft. Bar of any kind. The chocolate is so soft. Yeah, I was getting ready for like a hard bite. Yeah. Now it's, now it's delicious. Good job, Cold Stone. Good job. And do you have Cold Stone where you're watching in your state or your country? I'm curious how far their reach is. I would think big. I think they're pretty big. I think so too, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But I, Baskin Robbins is still like worldwide. Yeah. But Baskin Robbins is definitely losing the battle. They've been around for so long. Yeah, too. remember Baskin Robbins is still cream? pretty good in terms of like money. They're they're way cheaper than Cold Stone. But Cold Stone, come on, nothing. Have you ever been to uh, Berries? Don't start saying Berry. And then I have to put up a graphic. You don't even. You don't just. Well, let's not get into this. Just say have you ever been to that the place that starts with B? The place that starts with B? No. No. Yeah, I have. we have one down by the street. It's um. Down by Wabagro? Frozen grill? yogurt. Yeah, it's just frozen yogurt. I, I mean, like all it. frozen yogurt tastes exactly the same, though. Well, I like their uh, I like their combinations, because they almost do it like the Cold Stones, where they mix all the stuff in. It's called with it, Cold Stone. Whatever. I, I, for like my first couple of reviews... Is it I, really? Yeah, I always said Cold Stone. Or Cold Stones, like you. Yeah. And it's, it's Cold Stone. And so I got so many people that got mad. It's not Cold Stones, it's Cold Stone. Really? Because there's only one stone when you go in there. They're all working off the same one. They don't have multiple stones, so it's cold stone. Who cares? <laughs> cold stone. God damn it. The way I remembered it is one person made it made me laugh. It's cold stone Steve Austin. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's that's how I remember it. That's really it. Yeah, good. It's not stones. <laughs> yeah, no, all the yogurt places are the same. Like, you can go to the ghettoest one, and it's all just frozen yogurt. It's good. Like, yeah. frozen yogurt is what you get when you don't want to commit to the ice cream. Pretty Cause, much. Because it's still bad for you, but just it's way bad. less. Yeah. Yeah, not bad even close. Bit. Yeah. All right, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We got that at the Walmart grocery store. Yeah, that's a thing. That's we'll weird. We'll see you on the next episode.